is shalom shalom first and foremost before i begin I want to give all praises glory and honor to yahweh by shim yahushah by shim kargadash the bonds of the apostles the bonds of the elders the great most so and rule well and toss this truth must respect to you brothers out there to preach this word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of earth tabernacle david hopeful elect and speckled bird and want to say shalom so i just want to go into a quick testimonial video so, Lord willing, this is edifying and uh, uplifting through the spirit. So, pretty much, you know, I, I, I just I just take it as a prelude for D Jacob's trouble. You know, when you're in the house of mourning, you're sighing and crying. You're hastening the coming of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, he's going to take care of his men. So, what the Lord has been doing, you know, hey, he, he's been blessing me in the household. You know, so uh, I believe it was yesterday. All right, I go to the vending machine, and um, you know, it, it it wasn't working. It wasn't taking my card or or anything. So I end up pushing <laughs> pushing a little button, and uh, like five dollars came out that mug. You know, five dollars worth of change, I should say. But hey, it was still five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. You know, and then um. Last week, all right, go to a, either a restaurant or a fast food place, but um, you know we're we're ordering some food, and um, you know they pretty much like, hey, it's on the house, you know, hey, you 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 can go ahead and have this. Uh, there's also a place that I go to where I get um my little um, pictures on the garments, all right. It's uh, I believe I believe he's Elam. He could be Jake through the spirit, could be Jake. But um, you know, hey, he gave me a huge discount last week because I'm making a brother's garment. He gave me a huge discount, all right. And then also we got a you know grocery store, and and a person ended up paying for like a <laughs> hundred fifty dollars worth of groceries for us, man. So call the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushua Bashim Kadash. I mean, that's a that's a blessing. Like I said, you know these things that have been happening over the week, this week, earlier this week, you know, and uh, last week, you know, I'll just use it as a prelude to Jacob's trouble. You know, when everything pops off, you know, you may be in a situation like, man, I don't know what the Lord's gonna do for us, but the Lord's been showing me, hey, I'm gonna take care of you. You doing the work. You going hard for the Lord, hey, he's going to take care of you. You got nothing to worry about. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and get some scriptures. And um, also, uh, uh, I believe it was Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night, saw the chariot as well. Hey, you know, the Lord's been moving, seeing 144 everywhere. The Lord's been moving, man, you know. But that doesn't mean that you make it. You got to make sure that you, you stay on your watch and you keep on pushing the word. As you should, you know, because you have some dudes, they may see some things, you know, things may happen and, you know, hey, they end up slacking off. No, man, you, you, you stay on your watch. You keep on pushing this word. Keep on mourning. All right. As we're coming to uh, this pagan holiday, uh, thanks killing, you know, who's in the house of mourning? Who's in the house of feasting? All right. You in the house of mourning? You're going to be in the house of feasting. So I'm going to get a couple of scriptures. And uh, Lord willing, it's edifying. This is Matthew 5 and 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. You mourning, you sighing and crying. All right, you hastening the Lord's com uh, coming. You're going to be comforted. You know, like I said, Jacob's trouble is going to pop off, man. These people ain't going to have food. All right. They got their man-made family going down. These people ain't going to have no food, man. They're not going to be able to take care of their friends, their family, you know, their kids. Hey, it was 144 when I said it. it's true. Because I got a homie in the world. You know, um, hey, he, he don't want to hear about this truth, man. Call it some religious mumbo jumbo. I'm like, all right, you're going to have to find out the hard way that, hey, hey, 
that uh, uh, what we doing, right? The men of the Lord, starting with the apostles and elders on down, a great millstone, pushing this word. Hey, you're going to find out the hard way that what we've been saying is the truth, man. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. You see that? And we waiting to get our, our blessing, man, to inherit the earth. Right now, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And the wicked is going to be broken into pieces. But, hey, you got to stay on your watch and keep on pushing his word, man. Verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. You thirsting after righteousness, man. You fighting the flesh. You fighting this good fight as a good soldier. All right? What's going to happen for you? For they shall be filled. You're going to be filled. Jacob's trouble pops off. You're going to be filled. All right? You're going to be good. You're going to have food. You're going to be spiritually great. All right, while everybody else is out here bugging out. All right, hey, you're going to be the first fruits of the kingdom. We're going to get beaten up in them chariots, man. These people just don't know what's happening, man. All right? They just don't know, man. All right? Many evils are going to be brought upon this world. This is Sirach 39 and verse 26. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt. Flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of grapes and oil and clothing. You know, so pretty much explaining the things that we that we pretty much use every single day. But check this, verse 27. All these things are for the good to the godly. So to the sinners, they are turned into evil. You see that? Why? Because they're not going to have the luxury of to eat every day, to have food, raiment, clothes. And the Lord's going to give that to his elect, man. You know, the Lord deals with balance. Once again, we're coming to Thanksgiving. All right, you're going to have all these families. If if they able to have a turkey or whatever, you know, they're going to be getting together. They're going to be eating good, getting full. All right. But check this. You're in the house of mourning. You ain't celebrating that. You hasten to come to the Lord. You, you can see that this evil is coming down, man. So, hey, hey, they they got to be, they got to uh, find out the hard way, man. All right. Matter of fact, um, let me jump to this. This is Isaiah 33 and 14. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness hath surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with the everlasting burning? All right, hey, hey, our people gonna be out here scared as hell, man. All right, he that walketh righteously and speaketh of right, rightly, he that despises the gains of oppression, that shaking his hand from the holding of bribes, that stopped his ears from hearing of blood and shut of his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high, his place shall, his, his place of defense shall be the uh, minutions of the rock. Bread shall be given him, his water shall be sure. So, hey, you sign and cry, you doing what the Lord telling you to do, your bread and water is going to be sure. All right? You have nothing to worry about. Verse 17, the eyes shall see the king in his beauty, they shall behold the land that is very far off. You see that? What's, what's that? That's the kingdom of heaven. So that's why you got to stay on your watch, man. Keep on pushing this word. You know? Hey, hey, don't fall into these worldly temptations, man. It's hey, it's too late in the game to be doing that. You doing that, hey, you better go check your spirit. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this. A hey, class of scripture. Hey, it's 1044 over here. Call the lawyer. I'll watch me. I'll shout about some carcadize. Because this is what's going to happen to the Lord's elect. All right, they're going to eat. But you, you, you niggas out there that look at us crazy, that don't want to serve the Lord, let's hear, let's hear your judgment. All right? Isaiah 65, 13, Therefore thus saith ye, how will power? Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So the Lord is showing you. All right? Those that are in the house of mourning, they're going to be able to eat. They're going to be able to drink. All right. Those that are in the house of, of feasting, 
They're going to be hungry. They're going to be ashamed. They're going to be confounded. They're going to be looking for you for this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, but it's going to be too late. All right? You're going to keep your mouth closed. Your mouth is going to be shut. It's going to be unto them as dumb. You know? Hey, hey no habla espanol. I mean, uh, uh, English. <laughs> But anyways, verse 14. Behold, my servant shall sing of joy of heart, but ye shall cry of sorrow of heart, and shall hell for vexation of spirit. So, hey, hey, these, these wicked holidays that Jacob's celebrating with the enemies, oh, man, they, they sing in, they, get, they got all the family together. Well, guess what? Electing that day, hey, we gonna be, hey, Lord, when we are those, man, we gonna be singing for joy. We gonna be, hey, how would the Lord set it up? He may even have, have you know, you're going to have spiritual power. He may chill on some private island. How would the Lord set it up, man? You know? The Lord's going to show his strange signs and wonders. All right? But these other people, man, they're going to be confounded. Like I said, they they singing for joy. Oh, yeah, it was, it's a time to be thankful. A hey, thing that you should be thankful for, a hey, if you're in this truth. You know, that you, that you got this truth, all right? Everybody else is going to be confounded, man. So um, I'm pretty much going to end it right there, man. You know, hey, the Lord's moving. Like I said, uh, this, you know, these things that have been happening to me, you know, um, since last week and this week, you know, I just use it as a prelude that the Lord's going to take care of his men. You know, keep on staying on your watch. You know, keep on praying, keep on doing the work. So, Lord willing, it's edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushua, Bashim, Karkadash, Wa'abababah, Shalom.